return of a conquering hero. The family of the man of the hour, Colonel John H. Glenn, Jr., waits at Patrick Air Force Base near Cape Canaveral for this moment, this reunion. First to greet the astronaut is Mrs. Glenn, who shares this moment of love and devotion with their daughter, Carolyn Ann, and son, David. The girl from the Colonel's hometown, the partner in his trials and triumphs, snatches a few secret moments before cheering throngs claim their hero. It is written, great tears spring to meeting eyes, for the heart must speak when the lips are dumb. Another to share the great moment is the astronaut's mother. And then his father. Mr. Glenn set the casual note for the day by asking his son, how you doing? From the airbase, Colonel Glenn and his family are whisked the 18 miles to Cape Canaveral and welcoming signs of many and varied. At the Cape, where his 81,000-mile odyssey began, the Colonel is to receive the first of many honors the country waits to bestow. The President, after hearing a first-hand account of the flight from the Colonel, praises his unflinching courage in performing difficult tasks under conditions of great physical stress and personal danger. Then the President presents the Distinguished Service Medal of the Space Administration. Once more, Mrs. Glenn is brought into the spotlight with her family. This is but a preview of honors yet to come.